Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's now about 11.30, Saturday morning. Okay, let's get started. Today is the third and final lens in the Sure Sniper series. I have the 23 millimeter F1.2 on here. Yesterday was 33, the day before was 56. I don't think you can argue with me that the separation, the bokeh is unbelievable on these lenses. I think I got fantastic footage. I think it looks great. I am not a pixel peeper. I am not going to zoom in 4,000% and look for a little freaking purple fringe and chromatic aberration and this, that, and a weird thing in the corners and all that shit. I don't care about that. I'm taking footage. It looks good. I didn't realize that there was such a huge difference, like I said, between 1.4 and 1.2, but clearly there is. So right now I'm sitting in my office. I am right there. I can touch the, the tip of the lens and the computer monitor, the editing computer is right behind me, and then about five, six feet to the wall. So you can see the amount of separation that I'm getting. Again, I'm in my office, natural light coming from the window because it is a beautiful sunny day. I'm gonna take you downstairs now, put this up by the Christmas tree, sit halfway between that and the wall, just so that you can see that again. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs and see what that looks like. Okay, here's that shot in the living room area. The tripod is back up against the tree skirt. I am halfway between the camera and the wall behind me. Now today, big difference from yesterday, but similar to the day before, it is massively bright in here and the screen is just completely blown out because it is so sunny and I have this on f1.2. But look at how much more of me is in the frame. So I will totally be able to do this in the Forerunner. It, uh, it'll be a little bit tighter, but it won't be as much as the 33, obviously and you'll be able to see that it's probably going to be okay as a vlog lens. So you can see the separation. I mean, this is not like the 56. I mean, that's, that's just crazy, but the 56 is not practical as a vlogging lens. So here you go. Now we're going to pack it up and we're going to go out to the Forerunner, out into the cold, and uh, go see what else we can get. Okay, kids, so here we are in the Forerunner. I mean, this isn't bad. This, is, this has got a good little bit of uh, real estate, right? Now, it is cutting the top of my melon off because I've got this beanie on because it's not warm out. People are losing their minds, trust me. It, it is uh, supposed to get to a low of like 22 or 24 or something along those lines. And that is, again, an ice age around here. So right now, it's 1245. 33 degrees, sunny, there's clouds and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go to three ships and get a shot and show you all the stuff in there. When I get inside three ships, provided there's not 4,000 people there, I, I will do my, my footage in there and I'll put it back to 1.2 so you can see the bokeh. Enough blathering, let's hit up three ships. Okay, here's shit in your eye. All right, so I'd see camera again. I'm touching it and the wall's about four or five feet behind me. And I tried to get myself situated. There's a lot of people here, so they're very selective about where I could sit. But you can see, I mean, the boga. The door is right there. That's why there's so much light coming in. But still, look at this. As I get closer to the camera, watch it just blur that shit out in the background. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? If I had mentioned, here's my new glasses. Same thing, Ray-Ban, carbon fiber, just bigger. So I can see more because I can't see shit because I'm getting old. Yeah. I'm sold. I mean, I was sold on these lenses just reading the specs and, and seeing some of the, you know, the footage that they had put up before I even bought them. But this set is amazing. I mean, look at this. This is a 23 millimeter at F1.2. You saw the 33, you saw the 56. All three of them are amazing. Look at the footage that you get with these. And I haven't even taken a single picture yet. So I can only imagine how amazing that's gonna be. Do yourself a favor, get these lenses. That's pretty much a wrap on my testing videos of the Sure Sniper F1.2 lenses. Let me know what you think of them down in the comments. I'm gonna finish my stuff here and then get out and do something else later. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up now. And I'm gonna show you what the stabilization is like as I'm hoofing my way up the steps and walking through my upstairs. Kind of hard to tell though with the background being all white, huh? All right, and again, this is with me holding the camera all the way out, like arm fully extended. 
Now I'm going to turn it the other way so that you can see it forward walking. I'm holding it with one hand. I am not duck walking because I don't do that. Okay, kids, that's it. Once again, that wraps up the test of these three lenses. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Do they look good? Do they look stupid? Do you not care? I'd be interested to know what you had to say, but that's pretty much all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.